If reports are to be believed, the president of the European Commission sips cognac for breakfast and, after a liquid lunch, can barely walk in a straight line. So Jean-Claude Juncker has some gall to accuse David Davis of lacking stability. According to official minutes this preening small-town bureaucrat, who was elected by no one, also accused elected MP Mr Davis of lacking accountability. For good measure, at the same meeting officials claimed the British public don't understand the financial aspects of Brexit. And where were these risable comments made? In a commission meeting held, as always, behind closed doors. If Mr Juncker wants to know about a lack of accountability, he should examine how both the European Court of Justice and the Commission are unelected and accountable to no one. If this was a single incident, it might be dismissed as Mr Juncker's deranged post-prandial ramblings. But not for the first time he and his fellow Eurocrats are indulging in Yabu insults aimed at Britain and her elected politicians. Only yesterday. Former EU President Herman Van Rompuy arrogantly declared there is no way trade talks will begin until Britain agrees to pay a £50 billion bill. But then, from the start, Mr Davis and Theresa May have approached the talks like grown-ups in a spirit of optimism, and faced childish threats and abuse in return. In fact, the bad-mouthing began even before the formal discussions. In May, the Prime Minister invited Mr Juncker to dinner in No. 10 and afterwards both sides issued a statement calling it constructive. Then Mr Juncker ordered a poisonous briefing to a German newspaper describing Mrs May as deluded and living in another galaxy. Is that any way to build trust? Only last week, bullying chief negotiator Michel Barnier outrageously claimed he wants to use Brexit to teach the British people what leaving the EU means. He later claimed his words were taken out of context but as they were reported by the Eurofanatic BBC, we can conclude they were entirely accurate. Mr Juncker is wrong if he thinks Mr Davis will take his comments as anything other than a sign Britain is gaining the upper hand. The Commission are behaving like fools, the more they treat the British people with such arrogant contempt the more they will harden the resolve of the majority who voted for Brexit and also an increasing number of Remainers. Meanwhile in Parliament, Labour's betrayal of its own Brexit voters is becoming clearer by the day. Not only is Jeremy Corbyn ordering his MPs to vote against the EU withdrawal bill, he also wants to keep free movement for years, to adopt the EU's Charter of Fundamental Rights and to carry on swallowing all EU environmental and employment laws. How is that respecting the referendum result? Then there's Britain's business leaders, who rallied behind Project Fear but refused to get behind the government on Brexit. Do they see in Mr Corbyn the chance to keep inflating their profits off the back of cheap EU labour? If so they are playing a dangerous game, because Mr Corbyn and his Marxist friends will squeeze them dry if they ever come to power. As for Brussels, is it too much to hope for less contempt and condescension, and more serious debate about a deal that it is in all our interests to negotiate sensibly?